The former youth footballers who accused Barry Bennell of sexual abuse say he once had the power to make or break their careers. One of them today told jurors how the ex-coach and scout would allegedly abuse that standing in the most sinister way. For the first time at his trial, Bennell, who today turns 64, heard evidence from those former players. The first is now 49, but was aged between 11 and 13 at the time of the alleged abuse. He and other boys would stay at Bennell's house, he said, sometimes sharing a bed with him. Because every boy dreamed of being a footballer, he added, everybody wanted to please him. Giving evidence from behind a screen, the man referred to as Witness A said, his hands were all over me. I learnt this thing where I could literally just close down. When tears were on my face, I'd close my body down. But it didn't stop him. I didn't know what the hell was happening. I remember crying and feeling dirty and horrible. Really bad. The witness says he was abused tens of tens, if not a hundred times, by the former coach. Barry Bennell denies all the charges and has accused his accusers of jumping on the bandwagon. But under cross-examination, the witness stressed, I'm not in this for the money. The court heard how when asked in his police interview whether he'd abused the first witness, Barry Bennell denied sexual contact. He described him as a good-looking lad and, in his words, the one who got away with it. None of those boys spoke out against the former coach at the time. It was an untold rule, the witness today said. The trial continues tomorrow. Julian Drucker, 5 News, Liverpool.